Well, tell me about it. Beetle stopped by. She's feeling kind of bad. I was afraid she might have done something to upset you. She didn't do anything. Well, you know, when you see a friend run off like that, it bothers a person. You get to thinking all kinds of things. You sure it had nothing to do with Miss Beetle? I'm sure. Well, she'll be glad to hear that. It was Nellie and Willie. Those two. You kind of surprised me, half plan. I figured you'd be used to their teasing by now. I am. When it's about me. And this time it wasn't. Can you tell me what it was about? No. You know, when a person doesn't want to tell another person something like that, it generally means that it was about the other person. It was about me, wasn't it? He said awful like, dumb things. They said that you couldn't get a decent job, and that all you could do was clean up after the end. And that you smelled bad. Hmm. They were right two out of three. And I do clean the stables. I come home from working all day. I don't exactly smell like a bottle of lemon verbena, now do I? Well, do I? Oh. All right, then. That's with a decent job, now that's something else. Any job a man can do to make his way in this world is a decent job, as long as he works hard at it and does his best. You know, God didn't put sweat in a man's body for no reason. He put it there so he could work hard, cleanse himself, and feel proud. Don't you ever forget that. Hard-working folks only smell bad to some folks who have nothing else to do but stick their noses in the air. You and I know who they are, don't we? All right. Here's those tablets Miss Beetle wanted you to have. You make sure you use them, young lady. I will. Now, you know they say cleanliness is next to godliness. So while I'm down in the creek getting a little closer to God, why don't you go in the house and help Mama suffer? I will. Huh? Yeah? I just love you so much. <laughs>